speaking about telling our story, um, you know, I want, as most folks know, I'm one of those reality buffs out there who likes a little reality TV. Um, and for the first time, I got a chance to see the program Preacher's Daughters, America. Ratchet as hell, this show. Um, you know, it's one. It's a show about three daughters who are living in pastor's house. There's one that's sort of wild and crazy. Her name is Taylor. There's another one who's sort of, you know, a normal, normal girl who just happens to have, you know, a preacher's father and a preacher for a mother. And the third one is a girl who was on the wrong side of the tracks, even though her father was a pastor, has a baby. Um, and she's trying to figure out who her baby father is. The show is just, it, it's, I gotta tell you. I'm not really sure why any pastor would sign up to be on the show, um, to be 100% honest and real and truthful with you. Like, why would you ever sign up to have your life videotaped um, as a pastor and sort of see that your daughters are sort of moving away from what you preach every day in the pulpit on Sunday? But beyond that point, though, there I think there's a good denouement. There's a good, you know, there's a good kernel of gold in every in every single cloud. And there was one segment where one of the daughters sort of said, "When you grow up in the pastor's house." They make when you grow up in a pastor's house, it makes it seem as though that God's love is conditional, or Jesus' love is conditional. And should be told, his love really isn't condition his love really is unconditional. It doesn't matter what you do or how far you stray, he still loves you the same. And that was a very profound point, and I think it speaks volumes to sort of where we are as a society, dealing with the issue of marriage equality and dealing with the issues of abortion and dealing with the constant barrage from the Christian right, um, who keeps saying that, you know, you're gonna go to hell and God is recommending you hell because you had an abortion, or God's going to send you to hell because you are LGBT, or God's going to sell you to hell because you smoke or you drink or all these other things. And God's love is really and truly, oh, Jesus' love is truly unconditional, and that, that's what I learned from the show. I learned something out of everything. Um, but at the end of the day, got to tell you, the show was absolutely and utterly ratchet. Utterly, absolutely ratchet, America. Now, folks... While you do, while you you know, while you listen to the show every week, we need your help. So we want you to go to our YouTube page, www.youtube.com/slash Fowler Show, and subscribe and join our movement online 